Hello and welcome back to another section of Applications of Systems of Equations where we're solving problems dealing with systems of equations. And now what we're talking about today is the retail sales of gloves. Let's look at a problem. One day Java Java Incorporated sold pairs of gloves. Fleece gloves sold for $24.95 a pair and Gore-Tex gloves sold for $37.50 a pair. Receipts total $687.25. How many of each kind of glove were sold? So let's look at this closely. What we want to do is familiarize ourselves with the problem, but what's going to help us set up the equation is by what? Setting up a chart to help you understand much better in what's given. Now, fleece gloves right, will be represented with the variable P, and Gore-Tex gloves will be represented with the variable Q. So we're trying to figure out the number of each gloves being sold, which was a total of what, 20. So we also have the prices, the prices of these things that were sold, $24.95 and also $37.50, we gave you a grand total of what, $687 and 25 cents. Now, with this in mind, we can set up the equation because we know what's given and we know what we need to find to get the solution. So, we want to set the equation up. P plus Q, which is equal to $20. And then of course, 24.95P plus 37.50Q, which is equal to 687.25. Now, setting this up, what is always best to do, and you can do it if you like or choose not to, I always like to get rid of my decimals by multiplying here in this case by 100 to both sides of the equation. So by multiplying by both sides of the equation, I get rid of the decimals and this is what I get here for my coefficients of this equation. So P plus Q is equal to 20, and of course, 2495P plus 3750Q is equal to 68,725 in that respect. Now, what method of solving the system of equations am I going to use? Again, we have two equations, two unknowns. There's two equations two unknowns. Now, I like to use, in this particular case, the elimination method. And so when we use the elimination method, remember we said before that we want whatever variable that we are eliminating, we want to make that the two values of the two equations, of maybe the first and second equations, the same digit but opposite of each other. And so I would like to take this somehow, some way, make this up here 2495, as well as this. This is already 2495 if I want to eliminate the P first. I want to make this 2495, but what? A negative 2495 being multiplied by what? To the whole equation itself. So we're displaying this technique right here. So we're multiplying the first equation by negative. 24.95 to each of the terms, straight across. And what do we get? As we go over here, we have this expression, this relationship. And as you see here, the, the uh, P variable is eliminated. It is eliminated, so now we're left with Q to find, right? So then we divide both sides by 12.55. And then when we divide both sides by that, we find that Q is equal to what? 15. Now, we found Q. Now we want to perform back substitution, right, back into one of the, uh, the original equations, solve that, solve for what? P. So we plug 15 or substitute 15 in, uh, into the Q of one of the equations and then solve for P. Let's see this. So as we go over here to the monopad, we have a back substitution where we got P plus Q is written over, 
And then of course, 24.95p plus 37.50q is equal to 68,700. And 25. Make sure that this is no decimal place here. Make sure. There we go. Okay. So, writing this equation, we want to use this equation plug for the Q being 15 and the solve for P. So here we have P plus Q is equal to 20. And so P plus 15 is equal to 20 because Q is equal to 15. We're going to take and solve for P, and so we're going to take negative 15 to both sides of the equation, and here we get what? For P, we get 5. So P is, five, is equal to 5, Q is equal to 15. So let's run a check real quick. Let's run a check. So the number of pairs of gloves here is being represented here. So we got what? For fleece, they made 5 pairs. And then, of course, for uh, Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex made 15 pairs. So this checks out safely to be equal to what? 20 pairs of gloves all together. Now, let's talk about the money. Now, for Gore, uh, for fleece, we have 24.95 times 5 is equal to what? 124.75. And also, money from Gore-Tex gloves, we got 37.50 times 15 is equal to 562.50. So we have $124.75 and $562.50. So when we add those together, we did pick up a total amount of $687.25. Now, let's state our, our business. Let's, let's interpret the results. The store sold all together. The store sold five pairs of fleece gloves and 15 pairs of Gore-Tex gloves. And this is how we solve this system of equations.